small garage workshop. I like making them. It's fun. We can look through the chipped window, seeing Alan Martin hard at work. This is where the lifelong musician designs and shapes batons. Baudelaire got started. I start with a square piece, and then I will round it out into a cylinder. And then from the cylinder, it goes into the different shapes. He uses the same sound wood used to make instruments for his batons. All of these woods that I use are used in making guitars, uh, flutes, clarinets. To begin the journey from a block of wood or acrylic, a lathe is a machine of choice. The wood ones don't take too much time at all. They, you're looking at about 25 minutes to turn out the handle and then you have to go weight it. That process, I guess you're looking at about a half a day. The acrylics though, that takes 45 minutes just to turn the acrylic and make it smooth because you can't stop. You have to start from a square piece, and then you have to turn it, then you have to sand it, and then you have to buff it, and all of that has to be done. So these take forever. Martin is selling batons on four continents. From New South Wales to England, these Park Hill batons signal action. And the important fact is, is that these people like my work, and they're willing to pay for it. Sales online are steady, but for local conductors, they can pick up his batons at Flesher Hinton Music on Tennyson. That is gorgeous. But Joffrey Newton can hardly wait to put them on display. They're really designed for uh, band directors by a band director who uh, knows what uh, conductors are looking for. Custom batons from Colorado to the world. In Park Hill, John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.